What is up, everybody? MJ Kumzo7 here, and welcome back to another video on Totally Reviewed, where I review every game I own and just rank them from best to worst and seeing which game is my favorite. Because you have ever seen my top 20 favorite games, I didn't have a number one. So, <laughs> that was... <laughs> I could not think of anything. It was really tough. And so I just decided, you know what, we'll do this. And so I've also wanted to do a reviewing show of all these games. And so we're going to do it. So today we don't have one game. We have three. So let's get into it. So we're going to start off with Pokemon Sun. And let me just tell you now, this is one of the best games I've ever ever played so if you haven't seen my top 20 favorite games that i've ever played you will know that pokemon sun and moon ranked number two and of course i didn't have a number one which technically means pokemon sun and moon were my favorite games so yeah um but today we're gonna be seeing if that is true or not so I really liked this game. I loved it, and like most games, if you, like, don't pay attention, like most Pokemon games, if you don't pay attention to something serious, then you're gonna get stuck for a really long time, and then you're gonna have to confess to the internet and all that jazz. And so, I had problems with that. That's problems I have with a game in Pokemon games, and I know that sounds kind of childish, but it kind of isn't. I mean, I get stuck on it a lot, and I hate, I hate consulting to the internet because I want to experience it for myself. This game didn't have that, and you could just argue, well, you must have paid attention. I was really distracted for most of these things, okay? Like, when I got this game, Corby was moving out, and I was so sad. But I, w I was distracted by that, and even then... I didn't miss any of the, any stuff, so that was good. Also, oh man, HMs. Getting rid of HMs was a really smart idea and was really good on them to do. I thought that was just so, so nice, and I'm very happy. Um, one thing I wish they didn't do, which has nothing to do with the game, is wait a little until the Nintendo Switch came out, and then you just... Shoot, I just dropped it. <laughs> and you just waited till until the Switch came out to put this on the Nintendo Switch. So that didn't make sense to me, and I thought it was kind of dumb that they didn't do that. But, I mean, it looks still gorgeous on um, the 3DS, even though the 3DS holds so many things back. Um, say, I like, it held this game back a lot. Um... And it has, it could have done so much more and could have looked way beautifuler and stuff like that. If that is even a word that you can pronounce. Um, it would have looked way better on the Nintendo Switch. Um, or could have looked way better on any other thing if it wasn't on the 3DS and on, like, I don't know, another portable console. Which is good, so I'm expecting the next Pokemon game to be on the Nintendo Switch. But enough about that. The gameplay... Is fantastic and I know I said I am glad they got rid of HMs if you don't know what HMs are there are these moves that you can use to use outside of battle and then like surf around the world or fly through the sky or break rocks in your way stuff like that yeah in this game but the thing is um that got rid of a move slot and some HMs most HMs I think all of them actually you can't get rid of them, and you can't get rid of them, you can't replace them and all that. And it's taking up a move slot and all that. So, for them to get rid of that was a genius idea. Plus, you can customize your character, and all the Pokemon look like they're in Hawaii, Hawaii or Alola. They look like they're supposed to be in that freaking um, region, that's what it's called. So, yes. Pokemon Sun and Moon, or this is just Sun, but I love, but they're pretty much the same thing. <laughs> they both look and are awesome. They are so fun and is probably the best Pokemon game to this day. And so, yeah, I do not have anything to say bad about this game. So, <clears throat> don't know what to tell you guys, 
but I liked this game a lot. What is up everybody, MJ Kumzo7 here and welcome back to another video on Totally Reviewed where I review every game I own and just rank them from best to worst and seeing which game is my favorite because you have ever seen my top 20 favorite games I didn't have a number one so <laughs> that was <laughs> I could not think of anything it was really tough and so I just decided you know what we'll do this and so I've also wanted to do a reviewing show of all these games and so we're gonna do it so today we don't have one game we have three so let's get into it so we're gonna start off with Pokemon Sun and let me just tell you now, this is one of the best games I've ever played. So, if you haven't seen my top 20 favorite games that I've ever played, you will know that Pokemon Sun and Moon ranked number two. And of course, I didn't have a number one, which technically means Pokemon Sun and Moon were my favorite games. So, yeah. Um... But today we're going to be seeing if that is true or not. So, I really liked this game. I loved it. And like most games, if you, like, don't pay attention, like most Pokemon games, if you don't pay attention to something serious, then you're going to get stuck for a really long time. And then you're going to have to confess to the internet and all that jazz. And so, I had problems with that. That's problems I have with the game. In Pokemon games, and I know that sounds kind of childish, but it kind of isn't. I mean, I get stuck on it a lot, and I hate, I hate consulting to the internet because I want to experience it for myself. This game didn't have that, and you could just argue, well, you must have paid attention. I was really distracted for most of these things, okay? Like, when I got this game, Corby was moving out, and I was so sad, but... I, w I was distracted by that, and even then, I didn't miss any of the any stuff, so that was good. Also, oh man, HMs. Getting rid of HMs was a really smart idea, and was really good on them to do. I thought that was just so, so nice, and I'm very happy. Um, one thing I wish they didn't do, which has nothing to do with the game, is wait a little until the Nintendo Switch came out, and then you just, shoot, I just dropped it, <laughs> and you just waited till, until the Switch came out to put this on the Nintendo Switch. So that didn't make sense to me, and I thought it was kind of dumb that they didn't do that, but, I mean, it looks still gorgeous on um, the 3DS, even though the 3DS holds so many things back, um, say, I like, it held this game back a lot, um, and it had, it could have done so much more and could have looked way beautifuler and stuff like that. If that is even a word that you can pronounce. Um, it would have looked way better on the Nintendo Switch. Um, or could have looked way better on any other thing. If it wasn't on the 3DS and on, like, I don't know, another portable console. Which is good, so I'm expecting the next Pokemon game to be on the Nintendo Switch. But enough about that. The gameplay... Is fantastic and I know I said I am glad they got rid of HMs if you don't know what HMs are there are these moves that you can use to use outside of battle and then like surf around the world or fly through the sky or break rocks in your way stuff like that yeah in this game but the thing is um that got rid of a move slot and some HMs most HMs I think all of them actually you can't get rid of them, and you can't get rid of them, you can't replace them and all that. And it's taking up a move slot and all that. So, for them to get rid of that was a genius idea. Plus, you can customize your character, and all the Pokemon look like they're in Hawaii, Hawaii or Alola. They look like they're supposed to be in that freaking um, region, that's what it's called. So, yes. Pokemon Sun and Moon, or this is just Sun, but I love, but they're pretty much the same thing. <laughs> they both look and are awesome. They are so fun and is probably the best Pokemon game to this day. And so, yeah, I do not have anything to say bad 
about this game, so <clears throat> don't know what to tell you guys. But I liked this game a lot. Oh, but the next game, oh, the next game. I was excited for this game. When I saw it beta, when I saw the beta come out, I was like, oh my gosh, this will be the greatest game ever. You want to know what that game was? That was Lego Worlds. And if you guys have ever played a Lego game, I grew up on Lego Lord of the Rings, okay? I lived for that game, and it's one of my favorite games to this day. But in all Lego games, you can, pretty much almost everything is not made out of Legos, except for your characters and stuff you, that you interact with. And sure, you interact with a lot, but you don't interact with enough stuff to make up for everything else. Like the background, and the water, and the freaking floor that you're standing on. All of that is not Legos, which is kind of, really doesn't work with the name Lego. So... For them to make a game entirely made out of Legos, the world, the clouds, the water, everything you use, everything you climb, everything is Lego, that, that got me excited. And for a guy who lived on Lego games, you would get excited. I was so pumped for that game, and when I got it, it was a piece of shit. Gameplay is slow, the characters are lifeless. Even the idea of it is just boring. It's just, it's not fun. I mean, sure, the building mechanic seems cool in theory, but then when you actually try it out, it gets just really tedious and annoying and really boring and long, which, which you could probably tell from the beta, but it definitely shows a lot more in this game. So that was harsh on me, and I really did not enjoy this game. Sure, I had high hopes for it, and the reason I didn't like it was because it didn't fill my expectations, and that probably diminishes some things that I have to say about the game. But oh boy, I did not like this game at all, and I assume many other people didn't either. Um, and Stampy's Let's Play on the beta didn't last long, but that was probably mostly because he kept crashing all the time. But that still doesn't make up for the cool gameplay and how cool it looked and how cool he made it. And then it turned out horrible. So I did not like Lego Worlds. I just did not like it. Our final game is Minecraft Story Mode. Yeah, I know. You're gonna expect me to say, oh, this game sucked, didn't feel the story mode expectation, but I enjoyed it a bit. I enjoyed it actually a lot because this was pretty much the first game where my choices affected my playing, my gameplay. So if I chose one thing, I couldn't go back and I like made decisions and all that. I had the first five chapters, but then I have to pay for the next three and I'm not going to do that. Because <laughs> we have the season pass version because um, we got it when it first came out. Um, I enjoyed this game. I really did enjoy it a lot more than other people did, even though it, like, it didn't fill the expectations that the, um, Minecraft story mode aspect did, but it does it in a different way that LEGO Worlds does. It does it in a completely different way with fun gameplay. Fun, I enjoyed the fighting mechanic, even if there weren't that much, even if there wasn't much fighting mechanics fighting stuff like that. I loved a lot of it about this game. And so I thought it was pretty fun. And I enjoyed playing through the first five chapters and I hope to get the next three if I have money. <laughs> so yeah, I also liked the wither thing. I totally forgot its name, I'm gonna be honest. I really did forget its name. So, oops. <laughs> That's not good. That is really not good, and I really didn't understand most of the story ideas. I mean, I don't know where Soren went. I don't know why he left and stuff. That's spoilers, but I mean, who cares? Who cares? It's a game that you've seen reviews on. It's been out for so long. It started, like, it, it came out, like, last, not, oh man, it came out, like, two years ago or something, 
And so I assume everyone knows about it. Every Minecraft fan probably bought this game. And they were at least disappointed in a slight way, but I wasn't disappointed that much. So I liked the game and thought it was actually pretty okay. Unlike Lego Worlds. So let's throw to the list where these games stack up against Rocket League and Pokemon Tournament. Yeah, I know. You, I'm going to get so much hate for putting Minecraft Story Mode above Rocket League. But let me be honest. These are my opinions, and I definitely have a stronger relationship with Minecraft Story Mode than I do with Rocket League. So, yeah, that's why... That's why it is. I definitely, as you can tell, I really did love Pokemon Sun and Moon. So, yeah, I that's why I put it at number one. Because I thought it was awesome. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, that's where these games stack up. And remember, we got plenty more games to cover. So, I hope to see you in the next Totally Reviewed. Peace out, my friends.